Hey guys, it's a new day which means a new knife. We're gonna use this one, this Mora Kniv. I'm not sure what the, the model is called, but it's a super cool knife when I'm out in the woods chopping up stuff. Um, a new knife means we're gonna unwrap something in this episode. It's Chroma Squad from Super Rare Games. I think Super Rare Games have been upping their lineup. They just release better and better games and uh, that's fun to see. This is release number 37. I recently started collecting these so I haven't got that many but this one I haven't heard about it when I saw it on um, on their web page and, and saw the news. Uh, so I, I downloaded it from the eShop and I've got it here and I played it for a bit and it's 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 a fun game. This was inspired by the Power Rangers and it's it's clearly visible in the game. However I think this is more fun than the actual Power Rangers. So yeah let's Let's use the knife. We know what we get in the bag. If you've seen any of these videos or know these releases, we always get one of the stickers. And these stickers are custom for every release. We also get these collectible trading cards that we're gonna take a look at what they are and we also get the the, the game. Without the game it would be kind of a kind of a boring product to put on the page. I would never pay that price for stickers and collectible trading cards. But now I got the game with the order, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Let's use the, the trusty Mora Kniv again. Chroma Squad from... Uh, Plug-in digital and super rare games. Very nice release. Very nice little folder with uh, very nice little art book folder. This is pretty cool. Thanks for playing. Yeah, you're welcome. I love your game, so uh, it's no problem. This is pretty nice fan art or something, is it? I'm not sure. If you know what it is, please comment below if you know if it's fan art. Let me see. Um, it doesn't say anything here. I think it's it's fan art since we have the the Twitter and Instagram tags there. Anyhow, nice to get the manual. The inlay art, nothing special. I'm still kind of sad that we don't get the the reversible covers, but yeah, this is better than to have a white uh, inlay. Then it's the, the game cart, that looks like that. Now I know you want to see these. See if I was lucky to draw the super rare foil card. The sticker is special for this game. And uh, not sure what I'm gonna use stickers for. I, I usually don't put stickers on my stuff, but yeah, 
give them to me and I will save them for eternity. Uh, I wish there was something like I said in another video, if you have 15,000 of these you can trade them in for a game of, of super rare choice. Um, but yeah, very nice sticker nevertheless. And now we're gonna open this one. I can only tell you that this knife is very sharp. We get Cerebro, which is the brain in a jar that you find early in the game. We get Lord Gaga. And we get this one. Uh, kind of shiny cards. I'm not. I'm not sure it's the same quality as the other cards. Probably is, but they're they're kind of nice. There you see the the Chroma Squad. This card was actually kind of folded. There you see the the fold there. I don't know why since I just opened the package but yeah that's it for uh, Chroma Squad the the cover art is <laughs> it's super cool I usually go for um, what makes me interested in the game is is like the cover art and everything and this looks really fresh and really cool looks something like that it says on the cover that it's a tactical RPG I would call uh, Chroma Squad a tactic tactical RPG with the management elements to it because uh, in the beginning of the game you are working for a uh, TV studio as stuntmen, five stuntmen, and you get pretty fed up with it, so you leave the set and say that now we're gonna start our own studio. Uh, these guys and girls start their own studio, and um, the further you get into the game, you can upgrade your studio, your camera gear, your microphones, also upgrade all your gear. You can uh, hire uh, management people to help you with um, the PR and marketing. So you have to keep an eye on um, gaining, you have to gain fans and when you gain fans you get like fan power. You also earn more money and if you do marketing movements you lose some of this uh, fan power. If you keep on watching I will give you some gameplay. This was just a talk about the, the actual release. So stay put and I will give you some gameplay footage. Power Rangers. Uh, I'm not too familiar with Power Rangers apart from knowing about them. See, when I was a bit younger and might have appreciated the series and movies most, we didn't have much more than state-supported TV in Sweden. What was available back then was more or less Czechoslovakian puppet shows and Tom and Jerry cartoons. And a bit later, when I had a chance to watch Power Rangers, Kamen Rider and other Tokusatsu series, I just kinda missed out. Now I'm a big boy and can choose freely what to watch, and although I haven't put too much effort into getting into Tokusatsu, I know what to expect from a game that is a love letter to the genre and Power Rangers in particular. There's a lot of Power Rangers over Chroma Squad. So much that Brazilian developer Behold Studios ran into rights problems with the owner of the Power Rangers brand, Saban. After a royalty agreement, we're now at the release of the physical version of Chroma Squad for the Switch. This is a tactical RPG with manager elements. This means that you not only have to do some fighting, but also a bit of hiring actors, working with the skill trees, buying and equipping gear, and hiring the right PR people to help you gain more fans. 
And between all of this, you had to communicate with people over email. This is usually a mail from someone that wants to sell you something, but that time when I got a fan mail from a father that said that his daughter was the biggest fan and I could reply with a signed photo, that kind of made my day, even though it wasn't a real situation. All of this management makes for a good break from the fighting scenarios and it's not too cumbersome to do all of this since there's no real resource management to talk about, apart from the fact that stuff costs money and to earn money you have to create epic shit in the form of good TV shows. The fights are quite basic, make your move and attack the minions or whatever boss you're up against. If the need should arise, use one of your skills or weapons for situations such as one where you would need some extra coverage or distance. There is also a teamwork mechanic in Chroma Squad. Move all your characters close to the boss and end their respective movement phase with the teamwork button. And when you attack with the last character, all your little guys does a team finishing move. Later in the game you get the power to use a huge mech and when you think you're about to down some boss you get thrown into this huge mech fight and you have to finish the boss in this mode instead. I think that Chroma Squad is a charming game with a good portion of humor which by the way is a big difference from Power Rangers. The gear such as stylish mittens or hiking boots and the dialogue brings a lot of the fun and quirky to the table. This combined with cool pixel art and chip tune tracks makes me happy when I play this game. If you're into those kinds of things, I'm sure you will be happy too. Chroma Squad is available on the eShop and if you want a physical version, Super Rare Games has got about 30-40 copies out of 4000 left. Thank you for sticking with me this far. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold and keep your head down.